Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Okay, on today's review, we have the brand new one from Team Bravado, the Bravado Spice Company located in Houston, Texas. Now, this is their brand new Black Garlic and Carolina Reaper hot sauce. Just check out that gorgeous looking label. Doesn't that look cool? Black Garlic and Carolina Reaper from the Bravado Spice Company. Now, this is very special sauce. This is an exclusive only available uh, on the heat mist. I'll put that uh, link down in the description. Uh, but this is going to be part of the new uh, First We Feast Hot Ones uh, series with Sean Evans uh, on Season 6. Uh, Black Garlic and Carolina Reaper is going to hold down the number 6 spot in the lineup of 10 hot sauces. So congratulations uh, on that, guys. But let's go ahead and get into this. Let me read the side here. It says, Undeniably Bold. The world's hottest pepper, savory black garlic, and a hint of sweet maple. How about that? This hot sauce will shake you to your core. Brace yourself. Now, here's the ingredients on this one, guys. Uh, vinegar. Now, I don't know if they're using white vinegar or red wine vinegar. Usually they say, but I'm just assuming it's white vinegar. Then we have red serranos. That's interesting. Carolina Reaper, roasted garlic, maple syrup, black garlic, black pepper, and sea salt. That is it. And I just love the uh, the logos here of these uh, images of the Reaper, the, the Serrano, the garlic, and the uh, maple, as you can see right there. Really, really cool. And they got this one uh, blazing hot, 100% vegan, gluten-free. Uh, sodium is listed at only 20 milligrams, so that is awesome. All right. Now, this sauce features black garlic. Have you ever tried black garlic? And there's a picture of black garlic right there. So what that is, is whole garlic bulbs are heated in a controlled environment where the humidity and, and the heat is controlled. I think it's uh, somewhere between 140 to 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, they stay in there uh, for usually 60 to 90 days. Uh, and it goes through a process where the amino acids and the re reduction of the sugars causes them to be blackened or to be browned. They are not burnt, uh, but that's just kind of the change of color. And black garlic just turns into just a, a, uh, a nice, thick, kind of syrupy, um, amazing flavor that is, uh, that is so popular right now. It's used in a lot of uh, different cuisines and hot sauces, as you can probably tell. Well, let's go ahead and get into this one, guys. Just check out this awesome color. Now, what really amazes me about this color and this look on this hot sauce, guys, is that it almost seems like, okay, there's got to be tomatoes in here, or there's got to be tomato paste in here. Uh, but there is not, and I do believe that those are not seeds, but uh, I think those are probably some of the pieces of the uh, roasted garlic, as you can see there, floating around. I'm not positive, but uh, I do think it's uh, possibly the uh, some garlic, but it could be seeds. But anyway, this is a really thick sauce. I think this is probably the thickest um, from the Bravado Spice Company. But just, uh, you can see the black pepper in there as, as well. You know, just really thick. So uh, there, there's no tomatoes in here. There's no tomato paste. This is just a blend of, of, of vinegar, of course, but peppers, Serrano Carolina Reapers, garlic, both roasted garlic and black garlic, and maple syrup, and then black pepper and sea salt. But it's just got such a rich, thick, red look to it. All right, well, let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Okay, now this one, guys, uh, this is amazing. Now, you have to take your time with this one. You're not, you may not get everything the first time that you smell it, but I definitely pick up on the hints of that reaper pepper. I can tell. I know what reaper mash smells like. I know that distinct flavor of the Carolina reaper. So that is in there. I definitely do get the sweetness, uh, you know, that's coming from maple syrup. Now, it doesn't really smell mapley. But the star of this show is the garlic, and it's definitely the black garlic. Um, you definitely get whiffs of the roasted garlic, but it's such a rich, um, it doesn't smell overly sweet, does not smell vinegary, but you just get a real awesome richness uh, that's got to be coming from that black garlic, which really kind of has more of a, um, a molasses um, type syrupy, not from the maple syrup, but from the black garlic 
kind of an aroma, a rich, deep, um, slightly sweet, um, in a way like dates or molasses, and that's definitely coming from the black garlic. And I think it's really, a really, uh, you know, brilliant that they paired another pepper with the Carolina Reaper just to kind of carry the flavor and balance things out a little bit. And using red serranos, that was awesome. But yeah, just a really rich, savory. You get the garlic. You get just hints of sweetness, you know, from the maple syrup. But once again, it doesn't come across as that real strong mapley type aroma. But the garlic, guys, the garlic, and then you get the whiffs in the background, the hints of that uh, super hot Carolina Reaper type um, chinensi aroma. Wow. Okay, let's go ahead and put this on a spoon. And better just do just a little bit. Whoops. All right, we got to do all of this, and I'm not going to spill any of it. Here we go. Black garlic and Carolina Reaper. Mm. Wow. Oh, this is so good, guys. Salted perfectly. Not vinegary. Just a hint of the tang of vinegar. But wow, the first thing that hits you is just the awesome flavor of both the roasted garlic and that black garlic. It's just absolutely amazing. And then, and I think that does a good job of kind of toning down uh, the reaper heat. It's there. It kind of comes on, you know, like now, coming on a little bit. It kind of burns the front of the tongue, front of the mouth, kind of the roof of the mouth a little bit. Is the way this one, this one hits me. And that's a lot to do at once, but that's usually the way I do it, guys. So I can really tell and judge and give a true... Uh, heat uh, rating on on hot sauces, but fantastic flavor. It's just I don't know how they did it. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. I don't know how they did it with getting it to look this rich and red. Um, once again, it does not have tomatoes in it or tomato paste, but this is such an, an awesome flavor. It's not bitter. Um, there's red serrano peppers, the Carolina Reaper peppers just blended together really good. <clears throat> and then loads and loads of garlic. And that black pepper kind of gives it kind of a peppery uh, type aroma. Just slightly sweet from the maple syrup, but not overly sweet at all. It's just perfectly balanced. Um, this stuff is amazing. If you love garlic, and if you especially love the black garlic, uh, you're going to love this sauce. This is absolutely fantastic. Now let me show you what I did with this one, guys. This morning for breakfast, I fixed up some frambled eggs not scrambled eggs frambled eggs kind of fried kind of scrambled I had some pimento cheese grits um some fried spam and a biscuit and put this on the eggs and it was fantastic so i think this would be perfect for wings i think the, the celebrities on the hot ones are going to enjoy this one a lot um yeah just fantastic flavor now it's given a nice all over um medium to upper medium um to me, this is not super, super hot, and I'm so happy about that because, guys, I just don't enjoy the, the real super, super hot sauces anymore, like eight or above. Um, I just don't enjoy them that much. They're just too darn hot. Um, I don't like them that hot. I just really can't enjoy them. This is at a perfect level. Um, I would have to say I'd give this a solid six, a strong six out of ten for heat, in case you're wondering. Uh, the Crimson Special Reserve, uh, I think I also gave that a 6. This is about at that heat level, uh, maybe slightly hotter than the Crimson Reserve, in case you're wondering, but pretty much uh, in line. But nice aftertaste, really, really awesome flavor. So this is fantastic, guys. Uh, once again, this is going to hold the number 6 spot on the uh, the Hot Ones Season 6 uh, with Sean Evans. So uh, congratulations, uh, guys, on that. Yeah, excellent sauce. Uh, check the link out below. You can get this right now for 12 bucks at theheatonist.com uh, exclusively there. That's the only place you can get it. So uh, check that out in the uh, description. Okay, guys, thank you so much for sending it. I really do appreciate it. Guys, stay tuned for a lot more. Thanks for watching. And until the next time, enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.